to the bill. So b basically in her last comments there, which you understand if you, if you listen carefully, is that she does think that we need additional revenue. So this is not about spending reform. This is not about um, transformative uh, business reforms that we actually need to attract new capital and new um, income. No, this is about getting additional income from those who are currently here. But I'm telling you right now, as my colleagues have said, and, and Representative Skillicorn was the man who uh, made the, be the best comments so far, this is all just a scam. This is all just uh, playing with reality because if they really wanted a progressive income tax, they would actually put the constitutional amendment on the floor for a debate and a vote. But they're not doing that. They're just trying to, to you know, I guess get us all fired up about a, a progressive tax increase. But it is the wrong direction for the Illinois. Currently, um, you know, and actually I don't have it after the new tax increase went in, but uh, in just a couple years ago, 19% of the taxpayers who made $100,000 or more paid 61% of the taxes in the state of Illinois. 61% of the taxes from 19% of the taxpayers. Also, I'd like to remind the body here that Chicago had the largest number of millionaires who left the city nationwide. The largest number of millionaires left Chicago. And they were third overall in the world. So people flee when they're overtaxed. And um, you know, you like to talk about the 33 states who, who have a progressive income tax. Guess what? I like to talk about the nine states, the nine states that have no income tax and have lower property taxes than us. Why don't we learn something from them? Them? Why don't we look at what they spend their money on? Why don't we look at their business rules? Why don't we look about how they attract new, new residents and new businesses to expand the tax base, not try and extract more from the same taxpayers who are stuck here? So, I mean, uh, that's the direction that we have to go. Make no doubt about it. This is the wrong direction for the state of Illinois, and this is the wrong resolution to be running at this time.